A big air backflip coming up. Oh, yeah. Alrighty guys, back out again with the Outcast 6S BLX. This is the anniversary edition. Nothing special about it except for cosmetic stuff, like the deanodized. So we're just gonna rip it, just like the, uh, the 6S you can get in the stores. Not gonna go super, super big with it all, all the time. But we are gonna give it some good air. Just wanna get it out and rip it again. It's a little cold today. And uh, so I don't want to be too abusive. Ooh. Ooh. Nose dive. And we're off. Might have detached the battery. Get in here, give it a little bit different view than we normally do. Get right up on the ramp. around the yard do some wheelies have a good old time these things have so much power 6s just wicked machines wicked wicked machine Tons of wheel speed. And lots of control in the air. Love the body on this thing. Absolutely love it. like it for days this was something I've been told for a while by a couple people not to get and I don't know why I absolutely love this thing definitely a short wheelbase gets really really flippy in the air but you can totally control it. Like that is launched. Holy cow. That may be the highest I've jumped that jump. That went sky high for some reason. Something about the way it preloaded or something. I don't know. It went up. Ooh. Sending it. Oh, battery popped. Wow, that came disconnected, I'm sure. Yeah. Man, it just rips. I need to get this thing out more often. We just have so many RCs that we're going through. Some of them get on the shelves for a little while. I did remove the spacers thanks to a uh, tip from Rich Duper Bash. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was insanity. Yeah, but he gave me a tip to remove them. And uh, I did because I was pulling out the dog bones every once in a while on the front on big landings like that because the compression is so high that they'd pop out in here. But now that this is tighter, it drives that in further. Not having that issue. Simple fix. Not sure why those spacers are there. They must have had a reason for them. 
But man, such a torquey beast. I could easily double flip off this thing. But partly I'm just trying to have fun jumping it. Not trying to break something today. And as big as I'm going right now, it's totally possible to break something. <laughs> Awesome. We leave, set it down into a jump. Look at it. Just rip around. So hopefully this spring I'll be looking to get some more dirt dropped off here. And uh, we'll be doing some more fun stuff here in the backyard. Not gonna build a track because I do so much just running like this. I just want to have some more jumps to hit. Oh, into a wheelie out of it. Powerful beast. I'm not going to do any doubles today. I could. With that much air? Easy. But we're going to refrain. I don't have time to be working on projects right now. <laughs> I don't need to be fixing a broken car. Oh, so much air. Alrighty guys, there you have it. Just finished up the video with the Arma Outcast 6S BLX. What a beast. We launched this thing higher than anything that we've launched off the Senate ramp so far. Just in amplitude, not necessarily distance, but it was going up there when it was doing the flips. Um, super fun, really, really solid truck. It's been taking a beating. Mine is still straight as an arrow. And uh, yeah, I'm digging it. We're gonna get out here more often just when I I uh, want to get out and rip for a little bit and uh, throw some 6S in it. Running right now, 6S uh, Graphene Venom batteries, three cells doubled up. And uh, they're running nice and cool. Give me some good power. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. And as always, guys, if you like the video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more RC content like this. We'll catch you in the next video. See ya.